Now, without further ado, let's get started. All right, all you diesel-loving rascals. Diesel-loving rascals. On the radio and cheering loud. Come around. It's your favorite gal, John Jenny here. 30, 40, or even 50 years ago. Damn. Young man hey, Derp. Now, their bike riding animation is so smooth. Okay, Lucy, Bernice, Caesar. Who that? Ooh! Oh, we do actually go there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Time for a formal introduction. Those camera angles, though. Hey, the guitar though. I love it. I won't budge. Even one step. Ooh, her shield is also used as a we spinning weapon. I love it. Oh, she also kicks. Ready for I I think I like her outfit a little too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Bruh. A significant increase in ether concentration near Cinder Glow Lake. Wait, who's that? Detected. Wait. <laughs> the weak Armageddon? The no wait, was that a wolf? Face. Wait, 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 wait. Are, 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 are the enemies designed? Hello? Who was that? I'm supposed to be here. Ooh, the fire in the background. There's lighter. Was that a monkey? Was that a orangutan faced enemy? Also, that thing looks kind of badass. What is even going on? Hold, hold, hold up. Hold up. No, 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 no. Wait, who is that? That seems like a new enemy. The weak and the worth. And who's she? Can she be playable too, please? She's piqued my interest. Also, who's the badass with the gun? Who's the badass with the gun? See if I can get it. Wait, hold up. Actually, I saw another thing. Okay, hold up. Ow, I can't get it. Oh, they really... A significant increase in wait, 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 wait. One, two, three. Oh, I can't get it. Caesar... <laughs> I think the that was lighter and Bernie's. No also, that wolf, a new wolf dog me, thing. I will establish Bruh. a new order in this leaderless outer ring. A kingdom completely under my control. And he's also so the one of the final bosses in the story is going to be a motorbike Thanks large me. enemy. Leave it to me. Caesar, stop. Yeah. Well, <laughs> what is the face of that thing? Look at look at the look. power of ether. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? That th what? <laughs> is that is he going to be part of our team or is he an enemy? That I need to know. Imagine if this was playable. I mean, we already have a giant ass bear. Might as well add a bearded, orange-haired monkey, bruh. <gasps> Bell's in danger. Bell's in danger. And it's not even in her like bamboo form. Ah, damn. I I have to say. I have to say. Bernice's design is winning me over more and more, almost more than Caesar at this point. I don't know what's happening. And I can't put my finger on it. I think I think I need multiple fingers to put put it. I uh, know what. Let's go. On. After the old capital fell, folks came out here to start fr Her! She was in that trailer. Mmm, she's giving me NPC vibes. She- her design is fine as heck. Oh, so is Bernie's- oh, shut up me. Um, she's an NPC. She doesn't give out playable. She's a really good looking NPC, but I think she's an NPC. Fresh. She also Fresh. looks kind of like a memories. sheriff. Biker gangs are oh! This is not their biker gang. Is this another biker gang? Highly trusted in the outer ring. I wonder if any of these guys are going to be playable. So, 
They've also got the best intel around. Oh? If you want to survive V3? here, you'll need them. Nice. Ah, Sounds I think that was like the Armageddon jacket wearing dude, the operating. older guy. That's my guess. Yep. If you want a pro job done, then just leave it up to the pros. Yep. And as you might have guessed, we're called a biker gang for a reason. Yeah, because you ride bikes. Wait, all of you? Adventure. Wait, how about Piper? Oh, we get to ride a bicycle in game? Oh, win. Big W. Actually, big W. Zelda Zone Zero is turning into a driving. We got loads of members. Our biggest baddie. Is, is, is this. Are they turning it into a racing game? Are they trying to turn this into a racing game? You're clearly the real star here. That mode is going to be so successful. This mode is going to be so successful that Koyuverse is going to try and gotcha racing game. They're going to create a gotcha racing game. This is the test. I'm telling this right now. This is a little test to see how popular a racing game is be, and they're going to try and gotcha fight it. We're not oh. exactly all on the same team. Biker game. Oh, he's part of a different biker gang. Are there going to be mul- Wait, this is a full-on furry biker gang. Also, that cat woman? Oh, no. Oh, she's going to be trouble. Oh, she's going to make so many people turn into pro- She's going to be a problem for so many people, I can already tell. And she's masked, too? Just give her the right voice and it's over. Oh, you know what would be sick? If there's actually multiple different biker gangs that we can pull for. I wouldn't mind these three being playable. That would be kind of cool. Gangs tend to cooperate and compete with each other at the same time. Compete out and cooperate. Like vanquishers, for example. Oh, oh, no, she's a baddie. She's a baddie. No, no, she's a baddie. Oh, it's over. It's actually Same over. Here. Take the vanquishers, for example. They're oh our no. Rivals. Oh sons no. Of have got a score to settle with them. Oh, <laughs> what was that expression? But for the sake of the current overlord. Oh, I, I, I hope for so many people she's playable. <laughs> for so many. People. Okay. Okay, if they do a really good job of that scene and her voice is hot, I'm pulling for her. <laughs> oh no. Dude, the whisper in the ear and the expression Bernice made, I, I need to know what that cutscene's all about. Lord Pompey. Now's I mean, not the time. Speaking of Pompey. <laughs> Everyone in the Outer Ring's been saying they haven't seen him for a while. Pompey, that's Nobody his name? Nobody knows what he's been up to. <laughs> One day, he's gonna have to give up his position as Overlord. I'm not over <laughs> overlord, huh? Sounds pretty badass. Oh, you so it is him. No, they're gonna sell her so hard. I know it. I know it. That cat girl is gonna be... That cat girl is gonna get people going. I'm gonna read those comments. We'll see them. So we came up with the Cross Hollow Motor Race. The Tour d'Inferno. Oh, the Tour de Inferno is a race. Like expect to see some of course it is. I was not expecting a race in a in this mean, kind of game. I'm uh, so ready for this. I heard there's a famous Racing. legend about the Tour de Inferno in the Outer Ring. So whoa, 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 <laughs> Bernice. Yo, she kind of ripped. Wait, is this? Oh, is the Tour de Inferno just the main story quest? Does that mean... Oh, does that mean it's not going to be a mini game that we can constantly play? I'm... Ooh, I don't know how I feel about that. I want that to be a playable thing, even if it's like a limited event. Oh, no. I enjoyed the art. Oh, I'm enjoying the art for sure. Especially Bernie's. Caesar's doing a pretty nice expression, too. Oy, oy, oy. Oh. Let's see. Potential Caesar multiplayer pull? That would be cool too. Badass rider in the outer ring. And those ties. Physical defense agent adapt at using both sword and shield in combat. When the yes. enemy launches an attack, if Caesar successfully blocks it with her shield, it triggers a perfect block. Allowing Ooh. her to negate the damage and immediately. Okay, parry. She has a nice little parry. That's good. Or EX special attack. When she triggers a perfect block, defensive assist, or meets other certain requirements, 
she applies debuffs to surrounding enemies, allowing her squad members to deal more, more damage. damage. To them. Play it right, and it can be a slick way to attack and debuff at the same time. That's so correct. she's kind and of um, a combat. She can protect sub DPS support and boost their anti interrupt level by providing Ooh. a shield with her EX special. Well, she has a shield and ultimate. When launching her ult, Caesar swings her shield and charges into the battlefield AOE. with the Overlord's Grace Dance, dealing damage to enemies. Yep, I might be a defense agent, but that's because it's what I'm best at. I still know how to make the pain rain. The that's pain Caesar rain. Warrior. She can take a hit and she can rain all the pain on me any day. <laughs> If you don't protect your team. Absolutely. Now let's take a look at Miss Bernice's files. Miss Bernice is an S rank fire anomaly agent who fights with dual flamethrower. Her in game model is a little bit more flat. Hmm. Anyways. Of course. <laughs> Mixer and Shaker are simply too hot to handle. When in combat, Bernice alternates between her two flamethrowers. Mixer okay. and Shaker to fire Mixer and Shaker. While using her nimble moves to dodge enemy attacks. If needed, okay. Miss Bernice can also concentrate her firepower to unleash blazing hot flames from both flamethrowers in a yep. short burst, dealing massive damage and inflicting fire anomaly buildup. It's worth noting that when Bernice builds up enough heat, she enters the Nitro Fuel Cocktail State. Nitro In Fuel state, Cocktail. When attack hits an enemy, it triggers Afterburn, dealing an extra instance of fire So she can, she can do off-field damage. God, that walk was... Did I? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> did, did, did. When a teammate's attack Hold hits up. an enemy, it triggers I, I hate myself for noticing this, but instance of fire damage. In battle, Bernice can use her e I'm sorry, children. I'm so sorry. In battle, Bernice can use her Oh god damn. Okay, well well, it is what it is. It is what it is. God damn. Okay. They really don't really hide much from Bernie's. Even if you switch to another agent, the afterburn effect continues to trigger, steadily accumulating fire anomaly buildup on enemies. When the decibel rating is down, she can unleash her ult, jumping into the air and raining down a storm of flames on her enemies. <laughs> Someone's here to challenge you. I'll help. <laughs> but this is Bernice we're talking about. She's still a force of nature on her own. She sure is. Before she, she sure is. Caledon, you will also go. What's this? Go on and. Jeez, they really just want to highlight Bernice's assets. Every outfit they put on her, like God damn, look at that, bruh. Also, she's showing them pits too. An adventure with Bernice in the outer ring, during which you can discover her bright and optimistic side and deepen your friendship. Bernice skin when? <laughs> wow, summer. Look, we have to wait till next year. See the background? It's summertime. Clearly, goddamn. <laughs> Never. Yeah, we haven't gotten any skins in Zelda Zone Zero Bernice yet, have we? Has also prepared a surprise for you. We'll leave it to you to find out. <laughs> I wouldn't say that, but well, okay. While we're discussing a couple of Sons of Caledon members, let's not forget about our comrade in arms, Red Marcus. Uh, Red right. Marcus? As a member of the Sons of Caledon, you can Oh, the bang boo! Oh my gosh, it's on a bicycle! When Red Marcus launches his chain attack, oh, I love him. the enemy on a spike, steamrolling them and triggering a powerful explosion. Well, oh, I want him riding a bike at all times. Is that also a mohawk on him? Finally, and my favorite part. In version 1.2, proxies will have a chance to recruit Caesar and Bernice as their agents from the exclusive channels Amber Crowned Overlord and Born to Burn. In the first half of this version signal search, Bruh. proxies will be able to obtain the limited S rank agent Caesar and S rank okay, she's first. agent Tusks of Fury. I don't know if I want her signature weapon. Respective channels. We look forward to working with you, Faith. I, I do, and but I also in the don't. Second half, Miss Bernice will be making her appearance in her own. I don't need her her weapon. I uh, Caesar's weapon looks fitting for her. Bernice's engine is like meh. 
Of course. And as mentioned earlier, oh, it's actually a pig looking mohawk dude. Oh, that's awesome. All right. I, I want him. It's about time for us to show the redemption code. Proxies, are you ready? Consider it a token of our appreciation. Bonnie's so pretty. Oh, she is more than just pretty. Oh. Oh. Wait, what language is that? About the agents from the Sons of oh, whoa. Oh, oh, that looks good. I'm so glad I had dinner before that. Wait, 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 wait. Free Lucy? Wait, wait, wait. Did I hear that right? Free Lucy? Oh, look at that food. Also, as a reward, proxies will get to contract A rank agent Lucy. Yeah, free Lucy. Wait. Next up, Classy a new <laughs> mini game called Bizarre Brigade will be available Ooh. at Asha's Arcade. As far as I know, Ooh, players take on the new arcade of a game. In the game and fight off enemies with the Wait. friends you need along the way. Oh, that's this right. is ah, uh, what that's like the uh, what's the indie game that's like this that's been popular because it had a collaboration with like v shoujo or whatever vtuber agency thing oh okay i could i could sink a lot of time into that oh, that's Players dangerous a variety of random items during the different exploration stages but where's that racing game though huge impact on your fighting style and ability to survive Ooh, this is a whole game like in itself every time you play the game it's also worth what mentioning the that fudge? apart from earning polychromes by completing the event, proxies will also be able to unlock more new characters in the minigame. Additionally, what? in the event roaming the ether, proxies will receive a vintage computer terminal from- Those are turned off in, in the reaction, buddy. Just- just saying. Oh Chaos my gosh, new disk drives too? Can obtain them from new stages in routine Wait, cleanup. hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, let's take a look at these. Anomaly proficiency and fire damage and electric damage is increased by 15%. Okay, that's this is definitely a Bernie set. 100% a Bernie set. Electro damage increased by 15%. Anomaly damage. Is that going to be a new set for Rena? That might be also a new set for Rena. When off field. Oh, when off field. Damage dealt by and assist attacks increased by 20%. When the character switches back onto the field, this buff continues for 15 seconds. Okay, this is definitely Bernie's. Not so much arena because of the off-field stuff, um, but considering they're adding electro damage, it makes me really wonder who else is coming out that can take advantage of this set. Damn. Okay. Uh, Photopunk. Shield effect plus 15%. Definitely hands down for Caesar. Uh, when it, and pretty much no other character, really. I don't think any other character in the game so far would take advantage of this. Uh, when any squad member triggers a defensive assist or evasive assist, all squad members deal 15% increased damage lasting 10 seconds. Wow. Passive effects are the same way and do not stack. Yeah, Caesar is definitely a support. Hands down, she's a support. She, that can deal a bit of damage. Or decent damage as well. Caesar I'm actually interested lately. in this now. When so, double U, you know, double U, zone, zone, zero. What the, the heck? I am glad. Definitely notice the difference. Righto. Meanwhile, we're also releasing a backup battery charge function in the new update. That's good news for busy people. They're doing. They're doing the thing that they that was added in Weathering Waves. I am so happy for this. This so happy for this. I know, right? When are they gonna add that to Genshin, bruh? Even if you can't log in, you'll still keep building a battery charge. Yes. When you finally have some free time, you can use all that stamina you've collected. Precisely. Yes. Next up is a feature I've been looking forward to for quite some time. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. My face. We have updated the squad configuration system to let proxies save and use oh. preset squad. Holy mother! <laughs> I wanted this. This, this, we needed this. I thank God. Holy smokes, it took so long. <laughs> oh boy, I am so, Oh, how many, wait, how many slots was that? How many slots was that? Mm hmm. Tell it to my face. We have updated the squad configuration. 10. That's the same amount as Genshin Impact, right? Good. The fact that they launched without this, I know, right? I feel like they got away without doing it at launch because their roster wasn't that big and we didn't really have many teams. 
Like in terms of teams I use, I currently am doing, oh, I only have two teams that I use and I'm currently building my third. It wasn't that bad, but good God, do I need this system to let proxies save and use preset squats. You can jump. Wait, what are these team comps? Actually, I want to see. I want to. <laughs> we have updated the squad configuration system to let proxies save and use preset squat. OK, wait, wait, is this a hint? Oh, you know what's really important about this? Each team has either Bernice or Caesar and they all have a three out of three on the team comp, which means they all have good synergy. So if I personally pull Caesar but don't get a Lycan, I c this could be my Ellen team. It could be Caesar, Shokaku, and Ellen with the this Bang Boo, and it would work. That's really good to know. I don't like how the other two teams has includes Jane Doe, who I don't have, but I feel like they're doing that on purpose to make people also pull for Jane Doe for people that want Caesar and or Bernice. To make it like so that they can complete this team comp this is good marketing right there truth revealed right there they're really pumping it out for 1.2 1.2 looks like a lot of fun i i all they they literally all they needed to show me was the racing the driving part and i would have been sold but they they gave us a lot there's going to be lots of events to get polychromes I do like all the little improvements that they're making, streamlining things, making things quicker. TVs are being less annoying. I love it. I love it. This this, this is a big W for Zelda Zone Zero. Well, they are putting a lot of effort, and I can actually appreciate it. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm actually quite happy about Caesar not being a main DPS. She's looking like more of a sub DPS support character with a shield. Um, which is actually really good because we've gotten quite a- all the S ranks have been like on the DPS side of things lately. And so having an S rank that's not that definitely changes it up and means that we can have a little bit more mixing around with teams. And that puts Caesar in a uh, higher priority for pulling. More so than Bernice in my opinion, just based off of meta and team comp synergies and all that stuff. Bernice on the other hand, She's winning me over with design and personality. I love her design and personality. It's hitting a lot of check marks for me. I want both of them. Um, as for their uh, W engine, Caesar's W engine actually looks like her shield, like legitimately. So I want that. Bernice's W engine, I can skip. I was first at first sight. Yeah, all you needed to do was like a split second look at Caesar and you were sold. Like, look at all that personality she has. And personalities. Bruh.